Hey everybody, welcome to the second update video for the Road to Gulliman Painting Challenge. I am full steam ahead, I am keeping this on track. Even though this is getting recorded on a Sunday, a video had to get put up this week. So I'm recording it on a Sunday and I'm hopefully going to get it up before midnight tonight. But as I promised, I'm going to get try and get a video up every single week. If not, there will be two the week after. But I really don't want to do that unless I have to. So, this week's progress was i wanted to get three uh primaris reavers done and um, it wasn't a whole lot to do they should have been very similar to painting the, the normal primaris marines and um, but a few little different things but it's just time got caught up on me this week i had like 85 percent of it finished and i just kind of ran out of time near the end so i'm out here tonight getting the last few bits finished on them it's mostly the base and just a few little touch-up bits and uh, but the three of them are finished so let's just switch down to the desk view and have a look all right so here we are we have the three finished reavers in front as i said before time caught up with me a little bit this week so tonight was all about finishing or adding the finishing touches especially the base so i'll start off with this guy now the only thing that's kind of really different or the only thing that really separates these from normal primaris marines is there's a lot more black on them if you go by official artwork like you have the like kind of the under armor part you can see a lot more of it especially on the stomach area and you have the black pouches here for like like the pockets and the little gun holster and everything but everything else is very uh, familiar and obviously the face plate which is the bone color which i absolutely love i was a bit terrified getting around to doing it because it's so small it is absolutely it is a tiny part of the model and um, especially those red eyes but i think i did an okay job i'm happy enough with it for now and obviously you have the blades as well so then we have kind of the sergeant model Everything is kind of the exact same as the other guy, except for obviously the helmet. I don't know what possessed me to go with the kind of blonde, dirty hair, but uh, it kind of it turned out okay. I'm happy enough with it. And it's different. Like I didn't want to go like like a dark colored hair. It would have been too dark, but uh, it kind of brightens it up a small bit. Bring a bit of brightness into the 40k world. And obviously he has a small little bit of skin, which is kind of the eyes and the forehead. But he was. Yeah, they're, the three of them are almost identical. Uh, this guy is identical to the first one. But they were a lot of fun to paint. You know, I'd recommend picking up some Reavers if you get a chance. They're really nice. I love the kind of the lighter armoured models. And I only noticed it when I was like halfway through painting these guys. I noticed that like they only have one shoulder pad on their left arm. And when I spotted it straight away, I thought, oh shit, I'm after losing a shoulder pad off one of these guys. And I don't know where in God's name it's going to be. And then I looked at some of the artwork and I copped on I think they're only meant to have one shoulder pad. So it's a bit weird. They only have one shoulder pad. But, you know, if it works, I would prefer, that, prefer them to have uh, no shoulder pads. Get them to look, have a more of a scout look. But I actually, are these guys meant to be scoutish units? I'm not too sure. But, you know, they were fun to paint. I enjoyed it. The only thing I did differently from the last few models, or from the last week's video, is the base. I did a little bit extra on it. I went with uh, Astro Granite, which is the texture paint. I'll zoom in to get a, a better look at it. And what I did was, I went off, what I did was... I stuck with the cork base, which is kind of the higher part. That's what I always do. And then I put a bit of the astro granite around the edges in around here just to give the ground a bit more texture and i think it looks way nicer than leaving it like a plain flat surface so that's something that i'm going to be doing with the rest of them uh, from now on it works really well so hopefully you guys like this update video it's keep me on track it's very very late getting this one out but you know time caught up with me nothing i can do about it and next for next week's video I'm going to be doing five more Primaris Marines. Now I know it's it's uh, another five Primaris Marines. I did that last week. But I have a lot of these to kind of get through. And I really, really want to get the bulk of them uh, at, done at the start. You know. I don't want to get like... I think if I leave too many of these near the end. I'll really start to struggle a bit. Um, but I've started... 
a little bit I got the base colors down and I got the base colors down very quickly because I managed to get the McCraig blue uh, spray crayon, spray, spray can, not spray crayon, um, definitely worth picking up. Uh, I was a bit hesitant at first, someone mentioned in the comment last week, um, so thanks for that. And when I went up to Dublin, I managed to pop into one of the shops and pick it up. Um, you know, I kind of like doing everything by brush, I don't like, I wouldn't like to use airbrushes or anything, but you know, two sprays of this. And it's awesome. Like I could do a batch of these, a batch of twenty of these, no bother. So I've already started on these. I got the base work down, which is like the easiest part. And then after that, what do I have after that? Oh, I'm Lieutenant Calcius. So we're going to be moving on to the first hero model in the next uh, two weeks. So let me know what you guys think of this update video. I'm keeping on track. No way am I getting derailed yet. This patent challenge is. And guaranteed that this is going to be a hundred percent finished. That's what I'm pushing for, and I really, really don't do not want to fail. So, if you guys like this video, make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. And once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next video.